what's cracking. Because Weezy, I'm fucking with the hottest YouTube podcaster, Alexa Rose. Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Alexa Rose, and I'm here with the Weezy. What's up, y'all? It's 3G Weezy. What's cracking? You looking good? Always. You look good, too, girl. How you doing today? I'm great. Great? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about your childhood, like where you grew up. How's you living in Detroit? I grew up right here, where we at right now, doing an interview. Plymouth is where I'm from, you know? Growing up in uh, as a childhood was... Everything was cool, you know, it wasn't too much, you feel me, until like my grandma passed away, things got tougher, you know, but made me who I am today, so I ain't tripping. Okay, yeah. so, like, your grandma was a, a big part of your life? My grandma was a very big part of my life. She the reason I'm the beast and the dog I am today. I was raised by all women, you feel me? My grandma was a dog. She raised all men, you know, but I'm doing this for her. She wanted me to be great, so that's what I'm being. I'm great. You know I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I heard you smoke shit. I mean, he got, I think, a couple. A face shot to make him humble. He can't talk, so now he mumble. Every time he stand up, he seen a father to a stomach. Every time that plane lane. So you say your grandma was a big part of your life. So when she passed away, like, how did it affect you? Like, did it make you go harder? Did you go through some tough times? Did it? I definitely went through tough times, and it made me go harder. Hmm. You know, stuff like that, I take it as, you know what I'm saying, a power, giving me the power to do be stronger and doing other things. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And rapping. I really like rapping for real. So, mm -hmm. you know, it give me a way to let everything out when I'm going through stuff, anything. You anything. Know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they, most people say that Detroit, well, actually Detroit is, was the murder capital for, you know, a few years in a row. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about living here? Do you feel like it's a dangerous city to live in? Are you comfortable living here? Is this somewhere you can see yourself residing in, raising a family? Or do you feel like that's just a, a, a statistic that Detroit. outsiders have on us? No, Detroit ain't nowhere you want to raise nobody. It's very dangerous in Detroit. But to me, it's only dangerous when you don't know how to move. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. me, I've been here. I've been, been in these streets, so I know how to move. I move strategically, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't just make no moves for no reason. Every move, you got to... You just got to know how to move out here. This is not a city where you can just be out here doing anything. You got to know people. You got to know how to move. Your name got to be worth something. Okay. You know? So is that how you've been surviving, you know, through the years that you've been living in the city? Just know how to move and being smart and knowing people. For sure. Knowing certain people. And my name good. I can go anywhere. Okay. Okay. Any, anywhere in Detroit I can go. My name good. If you a real nigga, you shouldn't have no reason. You shouldn't fuck with me. I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't do too much talking. Uh huh. I keep it simple. Okay, cool. So let's talk about your your rapping. Like, what made you want to be a rapper? How long you been rapping? Really? Me and bro, me and Baby Money, we used to be rapping. We used to play with it. We weren't really just going to the studio, get high, and just be playing, you know? Bro ended up taking it serious. I, right before I went to jail, he kind of was taking it serious. Then when I got locked up, he started taking it super serious, you know? Mm. And he telling me when I'm locked up, like, nigga, like, write, you know what I'm saying? Write every day, practice, practice, practice every day. So that's what I did. If you was locked up with me, you know, because I used to run up on people in jail, like, damn, man, listen to this. See, mm -hmm. see how good this is. Niggas like, damn, you you know, you really can rap for real. And I gave niggas the whole vision, and I came home and did it. And did it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I like that. Okay, so let's talk about your transition from being a street guy trying to pivot into being a rapper. Do you feel like that transition has been smooth or do you feel like you have, you still have one foot in the street and one foot in a rap game? Is it easy trying to be a rapper when you like a street guy? Rapping. Or do that shit go hand in hand? Rapping is the streets. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't no, it ain't no really no deal. Rapping is the streets. I just don't, I'm just don't. The only thing I hate about rapping is I just don't want nobody to seem like they can play with me like a rapper, mm -hmm. you know, but. You what do you mean me? by that, though, like a rapper? Like, you feel like rappers, it be a lot of fake shit going on in the mm -hmm. industry. Like, they don't really say who they really are. Mm -hmm. They don't really rap about who they really are. Like, they some of them niggas be They rap pussy. a whole nother image, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you feel me? But it is what it is. I like rapping, though. It's cool. Mm -hmm. But So, man, it's not a hobby. It's something that you really like doing. Yes, it's a, it's a job. Mm -hmm. I'm putting my time and money and everything into it. So, mm -hmm. you know, I ain't finna play with it. And it's, the numbers is making sense you know what i'm saying so, yeah i was gonna say that too i've been looking at your youtube channel mm -hmm. and you dropped your first video about a year ago 
-hmm. and your numbers is high. Like each video is getting like 5K views or more. Yeah. So how you take into that? You like that the people fucking with you? I do, I love that. That give me motivation to keep on rapping. The more I see the views and stuff like that, that give me motivation to just keep rapping, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I like my music now, like what's so crazy is like people been liking my music, but I used to can ride to it, but now I actually can ride to my music. Mm -hmm. I, I was like listening to a few songs. I fuck with it. I, li I like I like the gangster music. I would say you make gangster music. Do you feel like you make gangster music? I definitely make gangster music. Only certain people gonna understand the type of music I make. You feel Cause me? it's only for a certain kind of crowd. If if you understand the music I make, it give you the chills. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you feel me? That's the type of music I make. I want to give you something you hear and giving you the chills. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You better stay up in your lane if you ain't ready for this pain. I don't do too much talking, but they seem to say my name. Hey. I was so your relationship with Baby Money? Tell me a little bit about that. Do he support your music? Um, do he give you constructive criticism? Yeah, do you feel definitely. like do you feel like he rock with everything you record, or do you know that if you he put he, out yeah he love my music, you know what I'm saying? He been telling me to rap, you know, been telling me I can rap, but I was more pushed off into the streets on dumb shit, you know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Bro, really, he ended up taking that shit serious when nigga went to jail, but he definitely pushed my music and he called me, kick it with me on stuff, let me know like, damn, bro, I see you, you working hard, you know, keep going. But at the same time, he doing him, trying to get him out there. You feel me? Okay. Because a million dollars is like a hundred dollars to him. Yeah, I was me? watching the interview with Baby Money. <laughs> Actually, he, he did an interview with Stewie and said he was telling me, well, he was telling Stewie that he want more than a million dollars. Because if you spend a dollar, then you back a thousand there. So I like that. Like me watching that interview with and him, it kind of. He's yeah. serious about that. Like, <laughs> he ain't playing. <laughs> he got all that money. He just hit me for 200. I owed him the other day. Man, he. He's serious, but I, I like that, though, because I don't want no soft love. I don't want nobody to give it to me. I yeah. want to work for anything I do. So once you see me working, then help me down the line, push me. You know what I'm saying? But I want it off me. I don't want them to be like, he only got, because he baby money. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? No, baby money going to help me, but I'm going to get it off of Weezy. Period. So yeah. tell the people what you're working on now. Uh, I'm really finna do an EP. I'm going to put seven songs on there, you know, but I'm really working on getting booked more. You mm -hmm. feel me? More songs coming out. And I am going to do, me and Baby Money is going to end up doing a song down the line, you know? But I ain't stopping. Motor train. Okay. Got me pumping up my name. I'm a different type of rapper. Put some shots up in your brain. Face shot to make him humble. He can't talk tonight, mama. Yeah, but I, w I went to jail. I got indicted for uh, identity theft. And, um, what's that? Credit card fraud. Me and him. We was on the same case with my little brother, Cash. Okay. But you know, prison wasn't really hard because I was locked up with all my co-defendants, you know what I'm saying? So we always kept each other in sync. And if a nigga fell down, we always picked each other up. But you know, prison, what it do is, it's going to make you or it's going to break you. It's going to show you how strong you is. It's going to show you how weak you is. You know what I'm saying? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to change the whole way you think about people in the world and everything because I cut a lot of people off and a lot of things that I used to do. I don't okay. do what I used to do no more. I don't hang with the same people no more. Hey, who was that? Okay, so you were saying you cut a couple people off. Is it like, was it like people, like friends, family, people that you love, that you hang with and be with on an everyday basis? Definitely. Did it? And it ain't even no, it ain't even no hard feelings towards me, you know what I'm saying? But, man, I'm to the point in life, like, if, if, you, if you unloyal, you show flaws or, anything i'm straight i'm cool because i don't really i don't really need it i don't need no you know what i'm saying this this up this it and right it's all here. about the level up if, yeah like if people you, around you not helping you level up or, i tell him all the time like you got to have people in the room with you that can help you think of bigger things i don't want the same nigga that be in the room with me and we hitting the same walls back and back back and forth you know what I'm saying? it's all about pro pro progressing and going yeah. to the next level and doing great and putting your people in different positions and there's situations. People, there's people sitting in prison doing 40 years because they wouldn't tell nobody niggas just solid. Niggas be out here wasting their time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Cash, since you're here, I want to ask about when he was telling me about being on the same case. Was this, was it, was that hard for you also? Like you and your brother, you know, y'all love each other. Y'all loyal to each other. Y'all being locked up and away from each other. Was that hard for you? It, it, was, it was easy mm -hmm. because uh, the scenario is mm -hmm. my brother. Mm -hmm. So I ain't got to worry about a nigga telling. You ain't really got to worry about none of that. Loyalty. 
the hard part was I thought I was going to the same joint as them. But, you know, like he said, stuff happens. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so you was away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You was away. Yeah. Okay. He went to a medium. I went to a uh, a lower level because he already been locked up. Cases, all types. That was my first case. So yeah. I went to a lower level. He went to a medium. It's a little rough. You know okay. And they, they doing it a little different. Now. Okay. <laughs> okay. But y'all look like some pits. Like y'all yeah, can handle definitely. it. We was born pits. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, it's a mental thing. You feel okay. Me? Like, and you mentally strong. Definitely. Would you say you mentally strong? I'm very mentally strong. I don't let nothing break me mentally at all. And mm -hmm. he'll tell you that. Nothing. I keep him in sync. Anything, not as, anything I feel like playing with my mental, I'm going to push it to the right. I don't even want to kick it. That's, and that's a good part about jail, too. Mm -hmm. It teach you so mm -hmm. much. Like, mm -hmm. at first, I was mad about it. Mm -hmm. like, dang, like, dang. But... After so long, when I even when I got home, I'm, That's like, where the, I'm like, it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, you was thinking and moving different. That gives okay. you so much time to think and think everything through. Mm -hmm. What you want to do. You know okay. what I'm saying? You want to come back or you got to move different. Change it because you get the same effects. If you do the same thing, you don't get the same results. Mm -hmm. So I was listening to some of your music before I got here. And you were saying something about being shot. Tell me about that. Yeah, I, I ended up getting shot on uh, Strathmore mm -hmm. a few years back, you know. Nothing light. Ate it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Where you get shot at? In the neck. It okay. was in there for two years. It ended up uh, coming out two years later. Okay. Thank God you made it through that. You didn't, you know, pass away or anything like that. Not at all. I ain't fall. So you keep yourself out of them type of situations now, right? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. So um, what do you have planned for the rest of 2022 and going to 2023? More music. My I'm music. really finna go, right? I'm really finna go hard. Okay. Three videos a month. Okay. You feel me? I'm finna go hard. I'm finna press the gas. I'm getting booked more. I'm booked tonight at Ace Spade. I'm finna go up. Gotta watch the triple cross. Cause they know that I'm a dog. To the rack just like I'm Paul. And you know I never pause. A face shot to make him humble. He can't talk so now he mumble. Every time he stand up, he seen the fall into a...